Yo, what's going on, bro? It's your boy Chopsticks, man. I need everybody to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, man. As y'all see, remember that name. It's Chopsticks with a K. My boy, we coming in with more dope content. Y'all, we finna get into it with a burst mohawk, man. This is some new burst mohawk. My boy light skin, so get ready for the, all the little camera biting the lip shit in there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just talking shit. in my boy, though. But shit, we going in with the one, man. We're going in here and we're going to create a canvas, an image in a frame for our mind so it will not distract us while we're making our lower bottom guidelines. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So in here, we're, we're taking the burst. Cause you know, if y'all seen the picture, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking it up and he want to burst Mohawk, but he wanted more, more in depth. He wanted, you know, ball, he wanted a little higher, last long type shit, you know what I'm saying? So we're going in with that 1.5, we scooting everything up, we flushing everything out so it can blend into the hair up top. Cause we don't want any harsh guidelines up there um basically messing up our eyes for the fade in my eyes that's how i do it you know i always want to make um get everything organized and everything while i'm fading so when i get to the you know what i'm saying when i get to the lower things of the fade we're setting guidelines lever open all that stuff man it would be much smoother i don't have to worry about things and i can see the fade already you know what i'm saying so it's work smarter not harder so what i'm doing now is i'm not taking the, my lever lever open all the way i'm taking it halfway and i'm doing that first step because it's way easier to do a fade in my opinion when you do it from halfway so i'm taking it halfway and i'm and i'm closing it and i'm scooting right up under that line after i made that first line with the halfway and then i take it lever open and now i'm just hitting them small little niches on there right so now when we get the one guard or we just scoot it up a little bit more it's gonna flush into that hair because guess what we broke it down with? The one, you see what I'm saying? We broke it down with the one. So now everything is already there. You don't have to use nothing. As y'all, like I'm saying this again on every video, I do not use a zero guard. For all my new people that are watching this video, I do not use a zero guard. I'm not bragging, I'm not being cocky, I'm not being none of that. I'm just showing you, this is the way I do my fades personally because I feel like a zero guard takes a bit, a little bit more hassle and it kind of mess up with your eyes a little bit. You're thinking it's taking out the line and sometimes it take a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just on me, that's my opinion. Y'all let me know about that you know, theology type shit <laughs> in the compass for sure. But see y'all going in with the one up top around that um bulk area and I'm flicking out, trying to get that drastic transition from right there from the fade to his um his hair. Now we're going in, we're doing details. I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all can see that line or that that um that line right there before the burst goes into the fade what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna break this down and as you as you see also there's bb steel on the fade what we're doing i'm i'm breaking that down with my lever open i'm not getting no guard i'm not saying oh shoot oh shoot go get a guard go get, you know what i'm saying i'm i'm mastering my clipper i'm using the edges of my clipper i am doing all type of techniques with my clipper to try to get this fade in you know what i'm saying because this, this is basically details, because I know some people would left this fade just like that. With BBs and, you know, a lot of bulk right there, you know what I'm saying? That's not me. People come to me and sit in my chair for details and the most exquisite haircuts, man. I'm not bragging. I'm not saying I'm the best barber, but I know that people come to my chair for details because they know that I care about them to the, to, like, the most thing I care about is details. Like, seriously, like, <laughs> really, bro. But anyways, we're going into it, and you see me again, I'm still, I'm still detailing. Cause a burst mohawk, it is basically detail. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a burst mohawk. Anything with a C cup, it has to be a drastic change, a drastic transition from that, from that box to the um, fade. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm setting me up for success, man. You see what I'm doing, man? I'm, I'm already making that transition now. I'm not going back and forth and, doing side to side, turning turning his head, doing one head on the other side, doing one side on the other side. You know what I'm saying? I'm staying here till I get this job done. That's, that's once again, that's my opinion. I feel like doing one side and doing one side of the head first, then going to the next step, the next side, or do the same thing. That's just the way I, I do it. But I'm going in with the one again, and I'm making sure everything is flush because like I said, the enhancements, need to be able to go onto the hair. 
you know what I'm saying, flush. If it go into the hair that's clogged up or if it go into any hair that's BBs or if it go into anything that's hair that's, that's not, you know what I'm saying, it's just not the same length, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see a little clumpy look. You're gonna see a little not, not really good look on that enhancements. You know what I'm saying? So now um, I'm, I'm doing a little bit more details. This is where it gets real detailistic, y'all. Cause I'm getting my trimmers and watch what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing what I'm doing with my clippers. What this do is it grabs the little small little hairs that that clipper couldn't get. I'm detailing even more in depth. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I tell you. I care about details. So I'm going in with my my trimmer, and I'm basically using this like a clipper. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, you ever heard that story of people saying, "Hey man, I can fade with a clip uh, with a with a trimmer," or I can fade. You know what I'm saying? Most of the times they're using that tip of that blade. And as you see right now, I'm getting them little niche hairs behind the ear. And I'm also using that left side of that blade when I scoop up to make everything broader and make that transition even crazier. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you if you need even more in depth view, um, DM me and I'll definitely show you. Uh, give you know, some more videos, see you more, you know, privately. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like I said, any barber that's willing, willing to get help or, or or willing to, you know what I'm saying, want to learn from me or learn from anybody, I can put you on. Just DM me because I'm willing to help. I don't charge for no conversation. I'm not cocky, bro. I'm humble as ever. I would talk to anybody. I don't care who you are, how big, how small, or whatever. But as you see, this is the other side we're doing. As you see, I just sped it up, bro. You know, man, make everything convenient because I want y'all to stay watching this. I feel like on my YouTube studio, I seen everybody there just watch the seven, first seven minutes, three, four, five minutes, and they'll just walk off or, or skip or go to the next video. I want to make sure everybody's in tune. So I make this a little bit more convenient for others. But as y'all see, I'm making that fade just like the other one. So now, now it's time. For the edge of my one of my favorite parts. This is where I lock in the most. This is where I put my focus at. Right here, I'm I'm actually preparation for my edge up. This is the most key thing in every haircut. Preparation. Like we did with the fade. You have to make the frame of what you're trying to do of the haircut before you go into your your um your guidelines. As you see. I'm making that canvas. I didn't see I didn't see this part when I was fading, so I'm doing it now while I'm doing the edge up, and I'm going down that edge up so it can make a um, let me say like a thin shed of line right there, so I won't be just going in and I'm tapping on on his actually his hair here. I'll be tapping on his his thin lines of his hair. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm I'm breaking it down and I'm and I'm going down on top of his head, getting the little thin hairs of excess hair, baby hairs of his edge up and I'm bringing it down so I can see it so I won't be just digging trying to find that sharp line you know what I'm saying and that's what I'm doing now but on the side of his head see I'm making more detailistic decisions see I'm getting the one and I'm trying to make that drastic decision again I mean that dra drastic transition and when I'm going down and up you know what I'm saying this this is just showing you how um how my techniques are right here yes sir y'all tell me how these beats is for real though these mugs go crazy. I mean, I don't really listen to hip hop, but shit, I'm just picking some that you know. It'll, it'll make people, you know, stay in tune. And if, if anything I need help with my YouTube or anything that y'all think that I should do, hit me up. Tell me. I take constructive criticism all day long. I love it. I love it. Yes, sir. But like, we finna go in with my snap FSs, man. We we you see we. We put the got to be glue on barely man like probably about three or four squeezes man you know i usually have spritz but i don't have it right now and i put the blow dryer on it and shit, we finna get into it bro y'all really finna see something now um as y'all see he's a little thin on the corners so we're not gonna go in there we're just gonna you know what i'm saying people think that when the hair is not there it's not there but i promise you if you just line it up a line will come there and it's gonna be your guideline too. And it's gonna be like that matulary fate line of where you need to go from now on. You know what I'm saying? So once again, when doing the edge up, have your image in your head so you can execute it when you're doing the head. That's also come from confidence. 
Now you have to be confident on your image in order for you to execute that image just like you, you know what I'm saying, you want it in order for your client to be happy so y'all can be on the same page. You understand what I'm saying? So now your image and your visionary and your artist mind has to be on point. This is where you start getting clients that want you for you. You know what I'm saying? That's my theory. But as y'all see, I'm going with the C cup. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? You'll see me check from left to right in the video because I'm trying to make everything symmetrical. Like I said in the previous videos, symmetrical is my favorite task. I cannot believe, bro. I cannot stress this enough. Being symmetrical is my favorite task. If somebody came up to me and be like, hey, man, make this drawing like this drawing on a sheet of paper, on a coloring book. Man, I'm going to be trying my hardest to make everything symmetrical, period. <laughs> That's just me. That's one fun fact about me. As you see, I'm going in. You see, I just um, detail with my trimmers. Also on that fade, you know what I'm saying? I saw something that I needed to touch up. And now we're going to go on to the right side. As you see, the right side is more thinner and higher than the other side. Now, watch how I handle this situation. See, I'm going in. And I'm just going in on that faint line. Not fake, y'all. Faint. Faint line. You see how I made that line? And then I go back to it and I readjust my decisions. So I made the rough draft, the, the smart rough draft, not no rough draft where it's like, oh, I can't fix it. I made a rough draft on where I think the line should go under the line. You know what I'm saying? Where I, you know what I'm saying? Where I think I should go. And then after that, that's where, that's where I go to the side. I don't never go to the side unless I know that front line is straight as possible. That's one thing that can help y'all edge ups. Don't ever go to the bars unless that front line is straight as possible or straight how you want it. Now, where I what I do, I learned this from barber school back in um, Alabama. I go from front to left, front to right. Like I go all the way though. I go front to left, bars, C cup. Front to right, bars, C cup. Right? Yeah, I see. I see that there was a little bit, a little bit BBs, man, on that line, right? Because that's that's a detail that that can make things different from the other side so what i did i got that lever lever open your lever open is your best friend it will fix all your problems i got that lever open and i went against the grain and you see how i made it flush right and as y'all see he's a little thin at that bottom corner but <laughs> i cannot stress this enough man your image if your image is not right you would have somebody would have took that away and went back farther. You know what I'm saying? To amount of try to make that line um um all straight. And and that's that's the key word of, of people who don't understand barbering is the image part. Is when you got your image, you you would be straight. Like you would be fine. You won't be messing people up. You won't be, be you know what I'm saying? Because your image is what makes you mess up. Your image is saying, hey. I think that that will look right. So you go in and do that. You go in and push them back. You go in and do a fade wrong. You go in and do that, and, and that's where you mess up. So you want to make sure your image is is on top, is on on. You know, it's hundred percent. It's on your p's and q's. Your your image is everything, and you want to make sure that that your mind is propelling to what your client's mind is also thinking. So you want to come to a clean canvas, a, a good agreement on what y'all doing for the haircut, right? So now I'm going in with my my uh, my brown pencil remember this is brown this is not white please do not put no white chalk on anybody that's black brown or light skin they have to be like light 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 like light, light skin light skin like you know what i'm saying like like cream almost bro but as y'all see my posture when doing chalk what makes my chalk and what makes my enhancements come out to be what my enhancements need to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see how I'm going over and over of that chalk? Because me personally, I like doing thick chalk because of the drastic transition from the, the contrast of the of the of the chalk from the enhancements. And it makes a better a better visual of what needs to go down. Because if you make it too thin, it's it's very it's very easy for you to, you know what I'm saying, not I don't know how to say that. Not make an accurate line to that edge up, even though it's straight. Because your your vision might not always be right on the edge ups. When you're doing the chalk, you might see something also. Right, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm doing, watch how I do my C cup with the chalk. I'm not taking long strokes, I'm taking short strokes. 
y'all. Please don't think wrong. <laughs> I'm taking short strokes, y'all. And what that what that gives is that more accurate, a more accurate drawing with the pencil. Now I'm going in with the temptation. Now on this one, I'm using black, just off the um, just off the head, man. I didn't have darkest brown. Usually in this, I would have used darkest brown, but I'm using black and I'm using barely using it. Remember, y'all, be sensitive on that nozzle. I'm talking about be sensitive because if you you go a little bit tad too much, it will show you who's the king, man. That thing you gotta be, you gotta know that thing, you gotta master it, especially on the um, the volume of how much stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? So as y'all see, I just did a little bit on the bars. That's it, and I'm going across the front line with it. Mm-hmm. Who? This boy, bro, chop boy. Man, y'all guess how old this man is? Man, this man is 41. Doing good, bro. You got no hair, girl, no gray hair, no nothing, no face, none of that, man. We we um we're not gonna be able to do no facial hair today because my boy he ain't want nothing done. But as y'all see, man, the, the mohawk itself is just cold, bro. Now I know y'all can't see. I'm finna change the angle in a minute for doing that right side. Mhm. Mm but y'all see the layout and what came out to, to what it be off of my image off what propelled in my head and how i executed it so if you can bring your image out 10 times better than what your clients was bringing i mean thinking about i promise you that's another way you can get tips that's another way you can get you no know, higher ratings you know what i'm saying so think about it your customer service and also your vision will get you you know, to the highest supreme level of being a barber. Me personally, <laughs> I am young. I'm 20 years old, man. I'm I'm still learning the game. I wouldn't call myself no legend, no OG, no vet, no none of that. I'm just I'm just here, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm just here with the cheat codes, with my philosophy of barbering. This is me. As y'all see, I'm going in, and I'm with the hair fibers, and I'm. And I'm, I guess I'm, I'm brushing it into where I want it to be with my fingers and the card. Mm -hmm. So now I go over it to make everything more, I guess, a little bit more realistic. Because guess what that, that temptation do that everybody don't see wrong? It makes it shiny. It makes it shiny. Y'all are forgetting that it's liquid. So what I do on top of the, the temptations is I put hair fibers. Yes, sir. Because temptations is semi-permanent. So that's already, that's a good last long in um, base for enhancement. So I put hair fibers on to make it more lit, more li realistic because hair fibers, it goes on to the hair. That's why I said, make sure everything is flush and everything is right. Because if it, if you had anything that was, you know, BBs or whatever, that hair fiber just gonna go straight to that. No matter what, it's never gonna go to the things you wanted to do when you're spraying it. So as y'all see, I'm using my thumb. This is because you gotta become creative. I'm using my thumb to make that C cup of that temptation, not a temptation, but the C cup of the hair fibers of that enhancements. I'm using my thumb to to make um, details. Also, I'm telling y'all, bro, I have I have so many techniques of just, you know, what I'm saying being just details, man. Like details are everything to me because I understand some people they will drive you crazy if some of them details are not how they want it to be. And every, every, we all know that one person, man. It might be some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm, I'm picky in the chair. So it's like, shit, if you understand, man, cut people like that, man. That's the one thing I just, I just, I hate, man. I'm a barber, right? But I cannot experience my own cut. I can't experience my own customer service. I can't experience me, me, um, me, um, <laughs> turning me in the barber chair. I can't experience that. That's one thing I want to experience. Yeah, I could cut my hair and say, yeah, I cut it, but I want to experience me going to me. <laughs> Seriously. But hey, y'all see what it came out to me. Y'all see, bro, these are my chalk grabbers. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, boy. That boy, chop, shtick. Chop, shtick. <laughs> Let me stop being goofy, cuz. Before I run y'all away. <laughs> but anyway, fool. Y'all see that. Now we finna go on the right side. We finna thin this chalk. 
right? So my client did not want to hold his head up right here. You looking at my damn video on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, shit. We going in, bro. We we are defining that line to perfection. Now a lot of people ask how I got my, my clippers so sharp to hit like that. Um now some people in my my um shop asked me this too. Now what I do is I have different clippers for different reasons. I only use these for just chalk, literally. And I have other ones that I use for lineups. I have other ones I use for necklines. I have other ones that I use for for um, facial hair. I mean, that's, that's just me, bro. Kids, all that. And I have them set for that. But most of the times when I have them set for like chalk grabbers or, or um, edge ups, what I do is I have them set up right. And how you'll know if they're set right, if it's smooth on top. It should feel like a, a baby's ass, man, when you put your thumb on it. You know what I'm saying? It should feel smooth. It should feel buttery. And um, one key note for chalk grabbers. Make sure your chalk grabbers are hitters. Make sure they're hitters. But make sure that when you put it on your skin, on somebody's skin, it won't vibrate their skin. That's the key thing. Because if you have hair fibers, think about it. If you have hair fibers and that clippers vibrate, hair fibers going to run away. And that's why... That's how you know the hair fibers ain't sticking onto the hair. That means you cut it too short. Keep that in keep that in your notes. If the hair fibers do not stick onto the hair, that means it wasn't enough hair for it to stick on. So if you put your clipper on it trying to do chalk and you see stuff running away, that's because the um the hair fibers was never on any hair. As y'all see this before, boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Man, y'all know what I do, cuz. Look at this edge up, bro. Look at this cut. This is what I say about details, man. This is what I, man. Man, man, man. <laughs> y'all, check out my Instagram, bro. DM me, I prompt, bro. DM me if you need any help, anything. You know support me whatever but y'all bruh subscribe hit that like button and that bell share it i love y'all man keep watching